mix it up, mix it up the goo. That's all nasty. It's a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. Come on, big boy. All right, guys, out here before sunrise, we're trying out two new things today. We got a new catfish bait combo that we're gonna try, and we've got a new trolling motor battery, a lithium battery that we're gonna put to the test and try to burn it up out here today. All right, guys, made a quick little run down the lake. It's pretty breezy today. We've got a tropical system coming in. As you can tell overhead, it's very cloudy. So we're trolling south. We're trolling into the wind. Like I said, we're gonna put this new trolling motor to the test today to see how it works out. And that's right, Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, a lot of people think the Jell-O chicken is Kool-Aid. I have never tried Kool-Aid on catfish bait before, believe it or not. Uh, I've seen it, people talk about it online. I've tried the Jell-O chicken stuff. Y'all have seen that, we know that works. I don't know why this stuff would work. I don't know why it would make a difference. So what we're gonna do is one side of the boat, we're gonna put out the Kool-Aid. We'll do that on the starboard side. And on the other side, we're gonna put out just plain chicken breast and see if this stuff works. All right, we got a bag here, two bags, as you can see, two bags of chicken. We're gonna mount the cooler. What I'm gonna do is just crack this bag open. It does have a scent to it that smells nice. All right, there's some in there, what we'll do. Feel like we do with the jello. We're just gonna shake it up. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby, now. Mix it up. Mixing up the goo. Wow. That's better coverage than I thought. I thought it would take two packs. I've got an extra pack. We'll save that for another trip if it actually works. It do. That's all nasty hopefully it's not sticky it's leaching through the bag wow it's gonna be crazy we're gonna try this stuff out see if it works all right so get some of these rods together here again just our typical setup some santee rigs smaller hooks we're using smaller bait you can tell right now it smells good it smells like it would be edible all right let's cast it out here and see what happens this one set up on a planer board off to one side. Man, there's a lot of arches out there on the screen. We'll see if any of these things are eating. It looks like a big old bloody chunk of something. Not that fish encounter blood, or at least catfish don't on a regular basis. But hey, if the internet said it worked, it's gotta work. I have theories on why the jello chicken works. We'll see if this makes a difference. I know one thing, it stains your hands quickly. Get the rods out on the other side and we'll be fishing. All right, we're gonna try some. We're gonna put a piece of this Jell-O chicken on one of these double hook rigs here. This isn't Jell-O chicken, I gotta quit saying that. It is Kool-Aid chicken, Kool-Aid chicken. I gotta get my name right on this. Put a little piece of Kool-Aid chicken. See if we can catch a perch with it. Looks like there may be some down there. We'll find out. It's a pile of perch, we'll see if they'll hit it. Boom, got him. <laughs> Boy, that didn't take no time. Perch on Kool-Aid chicken. Who to thunk it? Who to thunk that? Right there it is, if you don't believe it. Well, we know it works for that. Doink. Hook back in here, a little piece of meat. Meat to death. Oh, there's a pile of them. This is a little bit cheating because there are a lot of them down there on the screen. Boom, got him. Got him, got him. Boom. There we go, got one. Yeah, I'm trying this battery out, this trolling motor battery, and I am running all my electronics off of it. Uh, I'm running the sonar, radio, my live well pump. I ran my lights coming down the lake this morning, putting it under a little bigger load than I would normally do. Normally I split stuff up, but I wanna try this battery out just to see what the capacity is on it. It's a no frills battery. There's no Bluetooth or anything like that on it. So, you know, none of the fancy stuff. It does have protection, so it doesn't charge when it gets super cold, but it doesn't have a heater. Uh, the trade-off is you can get into one of these batteries for a couple hundred bucks. A lot of power. We're gonna see how long it will run today. Get him. Yes, I did. They're still hitting it. I just wonder if that color makes any difference in them seeing it, being attracted to it. Got that little hint of red on there. He got hooked in the tail. Oh no, it's working. We're catching them. Come on. You guys, right there. Right there's a rod of going. Boom. 
By the time you see this, you will have seen the short that I'm putting up right now in a few minutes. Uh, I was just saying, we're gonna see if this Kool-Aid stuff even works. I doubt it does any good or makes a difference. This fish is on the starboard side and it's on the Kool-Aid. So there you go. It's not a giant, I don't think, but I'm hooked up anyway. So been pulling for a little bit here. I came through some perch, caught them, and uh, nothing on the flat. There was a lot of arches, but man, the fish were not feeding. And I decided to come out here a little bit deeper. I think I'm right on the edge of the river channel now. These baits may have been in some deeper water. And I got hit, so I'm gonna drag this. That's kind of the plan before I relocate is to drag this deeper water here along this river channel. Trolling into the wind, something uh, I didn't used to do a lot, but with the power of this uh, EcoFlow battery, I think I can do it pretty good. Channel cat, flip him in the boat. He's hooked in the bottom of the mouth. Boom. Stop, don't fin me, you aggressive little sucker. But yeah, with the extra power, you can troll into the wind. When you're trolling, sometimes you are better off trolling into the wind. Um, it gives you a little bit better boat control. I think it'll help with your planer boards, especially in heavy wind. Uh, I think it really makes a difference in, pop that hook. Boom, got it. Boom, nice little channel cat. I think it makes a difference in uh, controlling your boat. So. Uh, when you're going with the wind, it can kind of tend to pile your boards up. But there it is, the bait. It's working. Number one in the boat. All right, guys, there's fish number one in the boat on the Kool-Aid. Uh, does this stuff make a difference? I, I, I don't know why it would. Uh, we'll see, though. I, I, my, my biased opinion is that it's going to be an even split. But it's worth trying uh, just to see. Uh, that one came right on the edge of a channel. We dragged a long way through here. Uh, and that's the first bite we've had. So I'm going to go into the river channel, try some deeper water, and see if that's where some of these biting fish are holding up. But for now, Kool-Aid's winning. Pretty sure this outside planer's got a fish. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is a plain chicken, too. This is on the uh, port side. Happy to be hooked up. We don't care which bait they come on. Into the middle of the channel. This is just a few minutes after I caught the other one that I thought might have been on the edge of the river channel. I'm definitely in the channel on this one. It's been an interesting year for fishing. We had a uh, Marine Commission meeting last night and one of my guide buddies was there and we were talking about it, how some stuff has changed and uh, the bite's a little different. So. It's not that we're, you know, we fish a lot of different areas. You hardly ever see me fishing the exact same place day to day. Uh, but it's something a little different. You just have to adapt. That's the way fishing goes. Sometimes it means using Kool-Aid chicken. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but we got a fish. This one's on plain chicken. We do know chicken works. We've tried that repeatedly. Oh, another channel. We found the channel catfish. Doink. See if I can get a quick release on him. Nope. Tell you what, if we were looking for dinner, we'd have it. Nice little channel catfish there. Gonna get him back alive. All right, guys, here's number two in the boat. Another channel catfish. And it came out of pretty much the river channel. That's some deeper water there where that one came from. That one, plain chicken. So. It's an even split so far. Not an explosive bite as far as fish compared to how many arches I've been seeing, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep covering water through here. Uh, just trolling, like I said, into the wind. I'm trolling downstream. Any of y'all that have watched any of my fishing stuff, in the past, a lot of times I am drifting with the wind and I will still continue to do that. But in some of these more moderate winds like this, uh, I like trolling into it, and I'm doing it with a 12 volt motor. Uh, this is a tw single 12 volt battery. My Lund has a 24 volt system. This is a single 12 volt running. Part of the reason I've got the confidence to do it now is because of the lithium batteries. Uh, I, I feel like there's enough energy uh, and capacity in these 100 uh, amp hour batteries uh, to 
troll like this all day. So these batteries are, you know, like a group 27, same size as a traditional battery. So they fit easily into the same place as the other ones. And uh, yeah, it's working good. So uh, I'm gonna continue to do this today. And, uh, you know, it's not something you always have to do. There's no, I've said that before, there's no right or wrong on how you troll as far as into the wind, with the wind, whatever you do. But it's nice having the option and the power to do it. So uh, maybe one day I'll upgrade to a 24 volt on this thing. But if y'all know me, I will use something until it completely breaks. And uh, so far, this old 12 volt motor that is at least a decade old is still working absolutely fine so i'm gonna keep fishing with it hopefully we find some more fish hopefully we find some bigger fish but for now we're just gonna keep on a looking i think there's a kool-aid fish on here yep he's there he's there i thought i seen something hit it a second ago another kool-aid one in the deepest part of the river channel. Hooked up, hooked up. Happy to have one here, just trolling along. Our wind's kind of on and off. Cloudy, it's nice. It's not cool, but it ain't hot either. Some good early fall fishing before a hurricane. We're not gonna get a hurricane where I'm at. We'll have some probably tropical storm, tropical depression conditions here. Not even tropical storm conditions. It'll just be a lot of rain. You're gonna have a lot of low pressure stuff coming. I don't think it's having an impact on the bite yet outside of just giving us a nice cloudy day. But the rain is a coming. What will be the big change in what's going on is gonna be what the utility company does with dropping the lake ahead of all the rain. That could impact the bite. Maybe for the good, maybe for the bad. That's yeah, a blue cat this time, guys. Oh, oh, oh. There's that old red bait, the old Kool-Aid. Man, so tempted to keep some to eat today. Got some mud on it. Oh, I'd be a good eater right there, guys. I'd be a good fish to eat. These gets to go back alive. All right, guys, there's another one. Blue cat that time, middle of the river channel on the Kool-Aid. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you know, if I was a good YouTuber, I'd come out and stop right now and go, I caught twice as many fish on Kool-Aid chicken as plain chicken, which I have, but the trip's not over. The test isn't over. So uh, it's a uh, interesting bite. Uh, it, it, it's it's pretty slow. The area where I'm not marking that many fish, I've actually caught three. And then the areas where there have been a lot of fish on sonar, I'm not catching any. So it is what it is. You fish. You just have to fish. And uh, I'm trying to do a good job of not getting locked into anything in particular. So there's not a lot of fish being marked in the river channel. And I'm going to pull back into an area where there's a little ditch that comes into the river channel. It's probably an old little drainage creek or something uh, that uh, I'm going to see if there's some fish around it. It's just a structure change that looks good on the sonar. So I'm going to pull over through it and drag through it. Uh, come up out of the river channel a little bit, maybe get on the edge, and then uh, see if there's any fish and probably drop back into it. So it's the only place I've caught fish so far. So... We'll see what's working, try to dial it in. All right, guys, I think I may have a fish on this line. Yeah, there he is. There he is, a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. What's funny is, that thing was sitting there. I cast it back out, checked the bait, and uh, I was letting line go off. And uh, just as this line picked up speed, flipped it in gear, boom. So uh, I think we may have a little bit of a slow bite, lethargic fish. And the fact that this bait was probably sitting there on the bottom, not moving, might have been the reason the fish came up and hit it. Deepest part of the river channel, trolling into the wind still. And this is gonna be the better fish of the day right here. 
this one will warrant a net i can tell already and fish number four it's on plain chicken it's a heavy fish this is a heavy fish it's a medium action catch the fever rod woohoo try to drag loose on that pc fun reel this baby's still working after many years oh it looks like it's about 20 feet down i'm gonna inch him up here it's a good fish good good fish good bite good bite creeping him up to the top come on big boy come on big boy let's get a look at you boom got him hey right there guys is a day maker Heck yeah, no. That's a big fish right there, boys. That is who we looking for right there. That's a good looking fish. Blue cat on the plain old chicken. Deep water. Nice fish. Ah, get him back alive. Simmer. Simmer down. Let you go. Bye bye. There you go. Bang, there's the big fish of the day right there, guys. That's a nice fish. Uh, I thought he was gonna go 30 pounds. He's in the 20s, high 20s. So good looking fish, middle of the river channel, out here away from everything. And that's a nice one. I, I, I The covering water technique is paid off. I haven't caught a ton of fish, but man, that one right there made my day. Uh, I've dragged probably about a mile down through here, covered a lot of water and uh the fish are scattered it's not a horrible bite it's not a great bite it's just catching some fish and sometimes that's the way it goes it's not always on fire it's not always horrible so keep dragging a little bit further see if i can stick one more and that is going to be a fish on that one by the way guys the big fish was on plain chicken in case you missed it this one is on the red side of the boat there's the water people hook up baby this is on the kool-aid trying to see where i'm at here on i'm coming right onto the edge of the river channel it's uh man it's 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 a it's a challenging bite on where they're at the big one middle of the deepest part this one on the edge some of those other smaller fish were on the edge we're just gonna fish try to catch them that's what happens a lot of times guys uh if you're in a period where and we may be in a slow bite period who knows um but i mean this is fish number five and i don't know two hours that ain't bad we get spoiled when it's good another small one looks like mr channel cat let's see if he's gonna lift in the boat yes he is yes he ooh quick release there at the boat ah he fell in the bilge. I got to dig him out. Oh, again. We're keeping them to eat. That would be a good one. Back alive on that. At the time I released that, I thought I seen this rod move. I did. I did. I did. There's a fish there. <laughs> I just cast that one back out and turned around. I thought I seen this rod twitch. It's got a fish too. This on the port side on the plain chicken i think guys let's see this will be fish number six it's pretty much even split i believe right now so shows you I, I, as expected i didn't think one was going to be like overwhelming and dominating i just figured it was going to work so well, this is a small blue cat boom boom we found a small fish and blues have got some mud on them i don't know what that's telling me 
that may be a sign of things starting or wrapping up and ending. I've heard some reports that the fishing has been really bad. I've been off the water a couple of days. That may be the reason. This little blue cat. Oh, shit. Well, there you go. Two fish back to back. Smaller fish again, but we're catching fish. So this stuff works. The bottom line is the uh, Kool-Aid works. I don't, uh, again, I don't know if it's going to be any better than, uh, you know, using plain chicken. Obviously today it's pretty much split, pretty much even. So uh, if you want to try it, use it. I do think the color of the stuff is pretty impressive how... Uh, uh, it looks bloody and again I've said this before I don't think fish are attracted to blood color because they just don't encounter blood seeing blood in the water and I don't think the color makes a difference does the smell make a difference I don't know is there anything else in it I don't know I think sometimes we just try to come up with a way to make something a little bit better than it is naturally and uh, you know I don't know uh, it's just like we're trying chicken with uh, jello I, I want it to make it better, but the research, the data, the science behind it, it's not real consistent in doing that. So whatever, I'm happy to be out here. I'm happy to be catching fish. And uh, it's always a good time on the water when they're eating something that you put on the hook. Folks, if you're interested in getting one of these lithium batteries, as I said earlier, there's a link down in the description. And here's a whole bunch of info. That's a bunch of battery geek info I don't understand. But for some of you guys, it may be some pertinent information that helps you decide if this battery is right for you.